Hello, everyone. I'm Nilson Rodriguez, Project Manager at the Institute Brazil. In this session, we'll be presenting a project about Dojo, the art to teaching. I would like to invest to invite uh, Mr. Karsten from Yost Company to start the presentation. Karsten, please, welcome. Okay. Just give us another second. I think you can hear me. Perfect. We'll start yeah. sharing the presentation in a second. Okay, so we're sharing the presentation. So good afternoon from Brazil. I understand you can hear me, correct? Um, welcome to the Lean Global Connection here directly from Brazil in Caxias do Sul. That's the state in, in Southern Brazil. Uh, my name is Carsten. I'm responsible here for operations at Yoast in Brazil. You can see uh, the pictures of the speakers for this afternoon or this morning or wherever you can hear us in the world. Um, again, my name is Carsten. I'm responsible for, for operations here at, at Yoast Brazil. And I would just like to give you a very short elevator pitch to guarantee that uh, you're sure that it's worth sharing the next 30 minutes with us and to get a better understanding of to present. So to you, it's a project that we implement during the last Dojo practical training. I will start with a short introduction on Yos Brazil. Yos Brazil is that was founded 28 years ago here in Brazil. Um, it's a joint venture between a straight manufacturer in Brazil called Random Corp and Yos Werke, which is a German company. Both companies with more than 70 years on the market. Uh, Yost Werke is today the world leader for fifth wheels in all continents, in all continents. Fifth wheels is a product, a safety product used in order to couple a truck with a trailer for safety uh, that every truck uh, and we are the leader in Brazil. We are also the leader with about 90% of money. So huge responsibility to give you a very Another quick introduction to what kind of other products we manufacture here in Brazil uh, in our two plants in Caxias and in the state of Sao Paulo in Campinas. So it's basically products for coupling trucks and trailers, and also uh, uh, one product that we use in order to couple uh, two buses, uh, articulated buses. It's a product we produce in, in Campinas. So the ones of you that are from the automotive industry, um, we have a good understanding now. The others just uh, take this from the elevator pitch that we produce very safety relevant products for the automotive industry. So our products cannot fail. So safety is always uh, on first place regarding our operator safety and of course regarding the product safety in the field. So, but what, what will we talk about today? We will talk about something that we implemented during the last 12 months. It's called Dojo. It's uh, the, the translation is a practical training center. And I want to explain you um, what we have been doing before over the last 28 years and uh, what we have added. And I want you to understand why we added what we added. So you can see uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a small puzzle with six pieces. And, uh, I'd like to explain each puzzle. And the last puzzle uh, will be the, the dojo. So what we do and what you probably also, if you work in manufacturing, we of course practice Genbuchi. So we make sure that we have uh, our management aware of what's going on on the factory floor, aware uh, of where the stuff happens, aware of whether the people are able and able to, to, to follow uh, 5S activities, standard work. So everything that we need in order to produce safe and with quality we see on Gamba on a daily basis now. So it's very, uh, the focus here is management awareness. Uh, another puzzle, another.
it could take time. Katsu JKK is basically that we implemented the customer view. If the next operator, whether it's an operator or somebody from the additive department, is actually the customer because it's in our internal process, of course, to deliver quality to our customers. Very simple approach, but sometimes not implement easy to implement. And in order to implement it in a in a, in a right way, of course, certain quality programs, so uh, quality gates uh, within the manufacturing process, A3 and, and AD investigations, pretty much the same. It's uh, also a, a, a it's more the Toyota way of doing these AD investigations, which we do on a weekly basis. If something goes wrong, well, it didn't work, we have to turn to or a customer do we deal this when we have been really disseminate the the, the also getting feedback from our customers and from our suppliers and and and, and drive this to the shop floor um, well talking about learning else that we're doing and probably also doing in your plans or in processes six sigma we actually qualify our people our teams in order to solve problems in order to uh, autonomously uh, fitness programs so we have about 50 black belts and green belts in our plan today. That's about one third of the administrative population. And we did this over the last two days and, and, and we, we can results are coming in, but that's not enough uh, because we also need to guarantee that the whole plan, so it's more than uh, 400 uh, people in our, in our two plans here in Brazil, that they have the quality fundamentals and uh, the quality fundamentals uh, does not only mean uh, that they need to know where they, where they work and what kind of documents they use, but also that they're able to solve problems. So we use a white belt and a yellow belt uh, programs in order to do this. So more basic qualifications, quicker qualifications, and these people, these qualifications, they can also us uh, to, to run in quick cuts to do throughout the plants. Um, the practical training now yeah? everything that i talked about is basically attitude yeah? or or methodologies that really uh, need uh, uh, a, a deep analysis and, and and lots of time in order to be implemented but we what we really want is that people that we hire um, sometimes not with the right qualifications get prepared in order to work on our shop floor in order to produce in a safe quality product and this is what we call dojo practical training here. Yeah. This is a program we, that took us about 12 months to implement, um, about 100,000 US And you get a glimpse of uh, what we're talking about. It's invest, uh, you already, Nilsson, who's our uh, external consultant. So we were not able to build this by our own because we need deep experience in order to implement such a process uh, the right way beginning and of the dedicated team and the dedicated team is the team who will be uh, learning to know in a in a few seconds and they will walk you through the process again why we implemented, how we implemented our system and that, uh, we will take you through here so you get an even better understanding of why we're doing what we're doing okay then i call on it us here to Presentation: The owner is responsible for product excellence. So, we'll continue the work. Joe, thank you. Hello. So it's not necessary to introduce myself. Carsten, I already told you, I'm Leonidas, uh, and I'm going to talk about Dojo at Yost. Uh, first of all, I would like to to tell you how we learned 
what is dojo? Dojo comes from Japanese uh, language, and, and it means two words, way and place. So we say that uh, is the place where you can uh, exercise the way to do something. Practice martial arts. Uh, also, at Yost, we have different kind of art. It's the art of teaching. So dojo for for Yost is our training and development center. Uh, our focus here is to improve our culture through the capacitation behavior of our employees. Uh, culture is very correlated with dojo here because then we reproduce the culture we would like to have in the, in the shop floor. So we developed together with uh, Lean Institute Brazil a methodology for transmitting knowledge associated with theory and practice simulating by the five senses, human senses. Yeah. So first, we had uh, leadership onboarding. This is important to have the support of the, let's say, the top of the company. Um, then we are we have more chance to to get a well succeeded execution. So it's very important to have the leadership uh, agreement and and support for that. Uh, we also found some searching of inspiration. We went to three companies which have uh, dojo here in Brazil, Embraer, Vale, and Toyota. Some of them we, we went visiting uh, in, that, in, their play, uh, in their plants, and some of them we could make this virtually online. It, and, uh, it was useful, but it was very uh, rich experience we collected lot of insights on that. And then we decided to make our way. Hi, Leonidas. That's OK. We can't hear. We have a problem. We can't hear. Hi, Gabriel, we have a problem. Oi, Nilson, você escuta? Yes. Can you hear us? I can okay, hear now. Okay, we will go. Keep... We will share again, okay? Try again. Hello? Okay, Gabriel. Second. 
Teste, Teste. Gabriel, we need to start the B plan. Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, back on track. Okay, so let's move on. So we first start with the Dojo uh, structure program. In theory, we just describe all the process we want to implement to then uh, create the material for the trainings and also train the instructor. Here at Yoast, we choose one instructor for on the shop floor. It was very nice to have uh, uh, this uh, instructor coming from the from, from Yoast because he was experienced already in our culture and our way of doing things. So, uh, we we were happy to have in our team now. Then we go to physical the place you can see uh, this an invest uh, then it's created according to the structure we program in the, the first step. To uh, first by the critical process, one both in our, in our case, we enumerated some, uh, some uh, in of them, uh, quality issues, uh, safety issues, safety concerns, uh, irregular process or tag time matching. So we choose this process to work on and to put. Yeah, and I'm not going to talk about the twelve steps here, but I'm going to put a focus on the process study sheet. This is a very important step for for us. Uh, so we are going to to draw uh, process. So. We first describe this process in steps. Uh, this is usually very uh, uh, difficult to describe, or it's a long way to des describe. So we then simplify these steps in key points, so it's easier to transmit this by simplifying this. It's also uh, more effective for the, the employees to get the knowledge. And then we explain why, the reasons why we do these steps and also do this process. This is more uh, reliable in, the, in the, the whole process. And also using the five senses I, I mentioned before. So in that way, we create more effectiveness and deliver value uh, more effective, yeah? So now I'm going to introduce my colleague, Gabriel, to show you the dojo room. And uh, we go through. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Levin. So, everybody, I'm so glad to be here in a part of this very room um, share and be here to explain a little bit about what we are doing as the job. So, uh, as by Leonidas, we have some steps in order to create some training. What kind of problem we need to solve, and then we identify what is the critical. So then we prepare some steps that we call it the uh, study sheet, and then we do do um, PSPF. I will talk a little bit more. So basically, our dojo is thinking about we combine the learning theory, behaviorism, constructivism, and cognitivism associated by TWI and job description and. And that way we create the PSPF, that means prepare, show, practice, and follow. Uh, it's a very common in TWI, but we want to show a little bit how we combine with more different way of teaching here in our dojo. I don't want to go on and on details here, guys. The idea is we talk a little bit about this because prepare is we thinking about the the 
in the end, environment, we think about the teacher, we think about the make this space safe. When you're talking about show, we have the cognitive method that call it 3D. And when we are trained somebody, we need to do the first time in silence, and the second time speaking each particular step that need to be completed in this model. And the third part, we need to just focus on the points. The key points means what is important, what kind of value we are delivering with this type of training or activity, okay? And we start association by the five human things. And the show and practice so uh, happen together because we are also are doing uh, uh, with association by cognitive method. And then another particular point, guys, the idea is follow in the and provide feedback during the one week of training here in the dojo. But we have some particular situation when the leader after dojo during the keep and follow this new employee, and also our training here, our structure dojo, go to the Gamba and for plus 30 days, like it's six days, we are um, following this, okay? So basically we are talking about some flow. We like to say dojo is not the end and then the beginning, this is the, the way. After we provide the training dojo, we do the follow-up, as I mentioned, 30 plus 30 days, and there is one more one last step, guys, that we want to do a workshop to do a, a multipliers as a dojo training. And it's a to totally associated by the versatility matrix where we will develop in the guys, as we can see over here. After dojo, 35% during the follow-up in the Gamba to see if they understand and then they are applying and then go through the Gamba. Here we have the 12 steps of dojo. Basically, is the model that we're training here. And the idea here is, guys, is show how much how much details we needed to do in the prepare phase in order we develop value in association by five senses. Okay, Dojo is thinking about each this area. We have some specific uh, training. We need to thinking about what can you use better. And uh, as is very common node. Uh, if there is no standard, we cannot improve. That's why we also have 5S standard in our dojo. We have a standard for every model of training. So uh, this part is uh, one that I would like to do a little bit different. Since we are in the game, but let's get in boots. So the idea now is we go through the dojo, pass through quickly, and show some particular parts Okay, that we have. So I will stop sharing my screen, and then we will go through the dojo. So I'd like to invite our colleague, Everton, our dojo instructor here. Hello, Everton. Hello, everybody. Now, guys, we'll go through the dojo and we will show some steps that we have, OK? Yes. Just one second. I will just stop sharing screen. Yeah. So guys, basically here, we have all this area uh, to train safety. Okay. Um, some part, uh, first of all, when we hire some new employee, we train basically in the safety part, how to use the PPI equipment, what's specific for each part of the, the activity, what is the critical points for safety, like uh, handle uh, edge parts. And also we are training uh, how to do, what to do in an emergency situation. For example, when something happened, uh, what the sound that it happened? The operator can simulate in, here in Dojo what is going on and how what they need to do in uh, some situation like that. Keep it moving. We also training the ergonomics phase. How can uh, lift um, some uh, uh, material in the correct uh, straight of the back? And uh, here I have some details that we like to show in Dojo. For example, here. What's the correct and incorrect way to present or to do some ex exactly a, a specific activity? Keep it moving, guys. We also have many parts of movementation. We have uh, some critical process regarding to this material part that we can also train in the operator. How can move this without correct way? 
keep it moving. We have uh, some area that will show the critical um, utilization of our products, the welding process, manual and robotic, with the details of the the 5S of the bands, the equipments that we have. And now in another part of Dojo, we have the maintenance. Basically here we are training how to do the TPM, how to, uh, what don't, if some equipment is identified with red tags, what they need to do if you needed to call for maintenance, how to fill out in the order, the whole flow that we needed to complete. In operational excellence, we have many trainings about the lean, about the standard work, about the conception of the seven waste. And this guy, that, that another part, that's something that I really, really like. That's the product environment. Here, as Everton has shown to us, the operator start uh, keeping more comfortable. What kind of monitoring and equipment in the digital way that we have in the real life, the simulation, in a real uh, cell, OE equipments, um, documentation, assesses, virtual assess, and also if there is some issue, they can to call for leadership, for quality, or for say everything is going on. Perfect. In this another part, we have uh, some training that we are preparing for torque and nuts that basically we will uh, train how to assemble parts, how to make sure that everything is assembly correct and some critical points that we have, okay? So now for finish, guys, we also have some uh, quality parts that we focus on. Uh, what is the policy quality, control, no, uh, no good parts. And the last part that we'd like to share you is we have a virtual uh, trainings here in order to help the people identify what is the risks in some situation gamification gamifying some of these kind of issues. They can too try to identify what is the wrong or correctly here, okay? And also we have a game that we call it the, um, the way of uh, operational excellence. Basically here we do um, uh, reinforce parts that the guy after the training in the end, they can, the cards, what is the concept of the lean? What is the good parts? That can that we can make um, reinforce if they understand well during the training of the operational excellence. So guys, for finish, we'd like to show a quickly video, one minute more about some trainings that we have running in these two first months here in the dojo. So I stop just moving here and showing the video. In order we complete this portion of the sharing, okay? Thank you. 
So now I'd like to invite Leonidas again to talk a little bit more. Okay. Better now? Leonidas again, in order to talk about some results that we have in these first two months. Okay, so I'm going to end. Uh, to share with you that we already reached uh, two, more than 250 employees in the first app, AHS and Operational Excellence. And we are also starting with the practical fault with the leaders and structure. It's going very well. And uh, uh, to finish our presentation, I would like to present our motto here for Dojo Yost. So we develop people to meaningful and progressive capacitation in a collaborative environment, connecting learning strategies and diversified practice with focus on solving, strengthening the culture of operational excellence with valued and respected people. So I would like to call my colleagues here to finish our presentation also the backstage. <laughs> And then we just would like to say thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And we are here to answer your questions if you have, or if you want to get in touch in the future, it will be a pleasure. Pleasure. Yes, so it's with you, guy. Okay, Gabriel. Thank you. All our our time is running out. I want to talk the. Uh, I, I want to thank the Yost company, Karsten, and the Rolls team for this excellent presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Nilson. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later.